So, we've all been there. Whether an ex, current partner, or a randomly attractive person you've given a quick glance up and down to, or you see a bikini model or underpants man on the socials, and you think, day um. But you can get away with it, you know, because nobody will know. Not quite so much in some video games, as it turns out. These are 10 achievements that will forever mark you down as a pervert, and everyone will know. <laughs> but of course, we Dutch did it for the achievements and trophies, right? Right. So, we kick off this list with a Peter Molyneux classic. Fable 2 was a fantastic game, but hold up. What? Yes, we have to make seduction an easy art form, as it were, and bang our way through the game 25 times. Protected or unprotected, the choice is yours, of course. Depends if you want a big bowl of herpes for breakfast, or if... Your genitals withered and useless. You can just watch somebody else do it. Yes, you can watch your buddy get stuck into someone 25 times. Hilarious stuff. There are no cameras in this world, so you ain't making those virtual buckery boos, unfortunately. Now, Asura's Wrath was so good. Graphics, fighting style, just everything was just top, top tier. So, what could they do to make the game even sexier? Try to appeal to a wider audience, as it were. Oh, I know. How about a nice hot spring slash spa scene where the woman serving you has the most realistically huge badonka donks you've ever seen? Way to get preteen boys horn doggage while playing. But yes, to get the achievement, you just need to focus in on those magumbos for a second or two as she will put her arms in the way and job done. If you want an added hilarious scene, try to touch them and then this will happen. <laughs> hilarious! So girls, if you ever feel a bit threatened in any way, just smash a bro square in the face bags. Job done! Now, Duke Nukem, he's an interesting one, isn't he? He's always been, how should we put it, a dirtbag, a continuous horn dog, a pest, probably arrested multiple times in the real world, you'd expect. But this isn't as bad as certain newer games in the franchise, where you're throwing your own turd at the wall. Uh, this is gross. I gotta get rid of this. No, instead, in Duke Nuke 3D, you just have to tip an exotic dancer who flashes those fantastic looking pixelated boy bitches at you, and that's that. It's quite an easy achievement, and one that shouldn't really get preteen boys excited. Really. But the pixels, <laughs> they do some damage. So this is, of course, a very well-known one, and it is still just as hilarious. We know Snake. He's got a lot going on in life, so he barely gets time to take a crap, let alone become Hornicus. So, during the tanker chapter in Metal Gear Solid 2, while you go to Deck A's locker room, you open up a locker to see a bikini-clad beautiful woman. Nope, that's not the end. Go into first person mode, check the poster until Snake gets rather excited, and then immediately call Otacon for an hilarious dialogue exchange and one of Snake's best ever faces. Basic climax face. Still, that's a better face than this one. Cassius! Now, we all seen this coming, didn't we? <laughs> South Park, the kings of everything people get offended over for no reason, went in and they went in hard. <laughs> so, while you're a tiny wee little gnome, you need to walk across your parents' side table or something. You notice that they're currently in the process of um, making baby gravy. And you may think, ah, bruh, I don't want to see that. But if you do want that sweet, sweet completion, you're going to need to watch your own parents bang for a full minute. Now, the only good thing about this is they didn't have the technology available to put your own parents' faces on this. So, there's always something to be thankful for, huh? <laughs> now, there are two like this on this list that are quite similar in style. You'll be playing along, but then you'll get a slight bit of accidental thumb tweak on the right stick and boom, you're almost looking up 2B's dress. It was an accident, you say, as she puts her hands there and turns around. You're embarrassed, so you think, oh, you know, well, let's just get past this awkwardness. But then you're actually like, this is a little embarrassing, but can I just try to pick up your dress another nine times just, just for an achievement and trophy? So, um... Yes, so if you've got that achievement and trophy unlocked, we all know you've tried looking up 2B's dress 10 times, trying to look at that 2 booty, yeah, get it? And you cannot deny it. <laughs> now, this is one you could potentially put down to not knowing where you're going, or what you're doing if you don't read Japanese. Although, then again, it gets pretty obvious when we get asked what we'd like. The store is called Enjoy Erotic Videos, and we see some items on a table, as well as a small TV. 
Now at this point, you're either like, nah, I don't need achievements or any trophies that bad, but then the completionist inside you, and also I bet the slight horn dog in you is like, hmm, yeah, well, let's just see what it's about, eh? Well, it's not that great, to be honest. You pick a woman in a bikini, you sort of frolic around in a bathtub or something else, and that's it. But that's apparently enough to get protagonist Kirio off, so, you know, whatever floats his boat. But everyone knows that you watched the video too, so whether it helped you in your adventures, only you know. Now then, this next trophy, of course it's not an achievement, it's a trophy, still, you know what I mean. Um, this is going to be one of those that may make you look like you enjoy stealing women's underwear and keeping them. Although some women get paid an unreal amount for selling their panties. Huh. Maybe that's the next business adventure for me. Anyway, uh, trailing off a little bit, sorry. Still, as Ikoro in episode 5-2, we end up in the girls' locker room where we have to take pictures of 14 random panties hidden in the lockers and all sorts. Plus, you have to take pictures of the girls too, which, you know, isn't creepy or anything. Mm -hmm. You find the 14 panties, you get the trophy, but remember this, you will forever be known as the panties thief who has them all tucked away in their drawers. But you know, a trophy's a trophy, right? So then, this is the second on the list of picking up the protagonist's mini dress, and this time you could say it was genuinely a mistake. But then again, you do have to really look, you've got to hold the right stick when you're down there, before Juliet holds her dress and is like, bruh, really? I know I was designed for this achievement in mind, but come on. But yes, yeah, simply hold the right stick down until the achievement unlocks, and you can either feel good about it or a bit dirty. Either way, we all know. We all know and you can't hide it. We also know your internet search history. <laughs> and finally we have Family Guy, who are of course known not to really give a monkeys about anything, like South Park, except South Park is ten times better. Quagmire, the ultimate perv of all life, is the main aim here. Now in the level, no cheese please. Is that a pun or am I stretching? <laughs> That's a pun. After fixing the crane, go into the apartment and you will see Quagmire dressed as a baby tied up on the third room to the left. Now it's not only that you have to quit, have a quick look at and get some items and go, no no. You need to stand there for a good full 30 seconds as he says some interesting things. Interesting is another stretch. But once the achievement does unlock, you can get out, wash your eyes and be thankful there hasn't been a second game yet. But again, we've seen you wait there, we've seen you all have a good look directly into his eyes while he pretends to be a baby. And it's on your achievements unlocked, but at least we've all done these together, eh? Achievement and trophy family? <laughs> of course. So there we have it then, guys and gals. Ten achievements and trophies that pretty much out you for being a slight perv, but only slightly. So is there any on the list that I may have missed, and how many on this list have you actually unlocked? Let me know in the comments section below, and I shall see you in the next one. Big love!